What's up YouTube? I'm SoCal Shaolin. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to you, all viewers and new subscribers as well. Uh, convention season has started and the first one of the year for me is uh, San Diego Comic Fest. It's a cool little convention. Uh, it's been getting bigger every year, so I'm excited to see how it's grown since last year. Uh, it's now at uh, one of the big hotels here in San Diego. But yeah, I started off uh, 2020 kind of slow, kind of just relaxing. But now that the convention season's here, time to start doing some uh, toy hunting videos. And also I recently uh, went to Houston, visit family. I did a few uh, toy hunting videos there, including a trip to the new Toys R Us. That's right, Toys R Us is back uh, in Houston. I believe is only the second one of two locations opened. Uh, so I'll bring those videos after this one. You'll start seeing the ones uh, from my Houston trip. But yeah, I'm here, San Diego Comic Fest. I'm excited. Convention season, you know, it's always an exciting time. Uh, so let's go in, check it out. Let's see uh, if we can find any cool stuff. Right, so here we have the lobby of the hotel where you pick up your badges. Just a cool little area where people can chill. There's a cafe here as well. Now I'm entering here at the main hall where all the vendors are. Just a quick scan of the whole area here. And right off the bat, here we have a toy vendor. Check out what she has. Uh, the Dead Star, Vince's Dead Star, one of the play sets I want to pick up. It's kind of hard to get complete. I thought really hard about getting this Batmobile right here. It was pretty awesome. I don't know what she was selling it for, but the Joker van was 25, so I'm guessing the Batmobile was also 25. It's uh, one of the bigger ones too. Very minty. She also had a lot of vintage Star Wars figures. Pretty cool, pretty cool, and just random stuff on her table. Some of the He-Man from the 2000s cartoon, and just little knickknacks here and there, as you see there, behind the table. Alright, so this next booth is probably the best booth here for toys. Uh, this March Vintage Toys, check him out. And uh, yeah, as you can see, he has tons and tons of toys at his booth. He has a whole bunch of little bins just full of figures and has just about any toy line you can think of from the 80s. He has a little bit of everything in here. Tons of G.I. Joe's. If you're into G.I. Joe's, want to build up your collection, check out Mark Spencer's toys. As you can see here, he has lots of, lots of loose ones. All kinds of G.I. Joe's. That's actually one toy line I don't collect. But when I was a kid, I had tons. I had a lot of G.I. Joe's. A lot of broken legs as well. And we have an Ernest right there. Ernest doll. Just some 80s figures up there. Lionel figures, some trolls. You got a Fat Albert right there. Awesome. I didn't even know they had a Fat Albert doll like that. But yeah, just, you know, sifting through here. Wrestling figures, some more modern wrestling figures. Got some boat come there, robots, robot. And more Transformers. Got a couple of those Hasbro WWF figures there. Yeah, these Transformers are really cool. I don't collect them. Battle Cat He-Man, Skeletor, his Panther figure, and uh, there you go, My Buddy Doll. 75 bucks for My Buddy Doll in the box. Uh, pretty scary thing. I think they based Child's Play off of that doll. And once again, a whole bunch of Ninja Star Wars figures here if you want. And if you want to build up your Star Wars vintage figure collection, 
place to do so. There's more things to store. That's a whole bunch of them. And also, you want to fill in any gaps in your collection. Yes, there you go. Ringo Star, Ringo figure there. Uh, some Japanese toys up there. Thundercat figures, and this little bin here had some uh, superpower figures as well as Marvel Super Wars on this thing, including you see a Mr. Miyagi there, Johnny Lawrence, and the Karate Kick toy line. all the figures I need from the Superpowers and Super Wars line are the more rare and expensive ones. And a whole bunch of little random figures here, like Battle Beast. A couple Amigos there in the cups and in the whole set. 12 inch I believe those Star Wars figures are. Kind of cool. I have a Darth Vader one. Wouldn't mind picking up any more of those. First wave back of the original Kenner line. They're just bringing them back as retro figures, which looks pretty cool. It's awesome if you don't own the originals. And of course, wouldn't be a comic book convention without comic books. I didn't pick up any comic books as all the books that I want are like real expensive, so I didn't look around too much at the comic book vendors. And also a couple of modern figures here at this booth, which I don't collect for anymore. I sold all my Marvel Legends a few years ago. But every now and then I'll pick up a modern figure here and there. Really tempted to pick up this line right here from NECA of the Ninja Turtle movie figures. Uh, those look really, really awesome. And there's always one booth with Legos here at conventions always popular especially with the little kids and then I was just walking down the aisles you got a whole bunch of artists here like there's a William Stout artist and uh, couple more I didn't recognize over here on this side. You got some cartoonists there, a couple more comic book artists, you know, just greeting fans, meeting them, making sketches, signing autographs, so it's pretty cool. So if you're really into comics and know a lot about like writers and artists, you'll have a good time. Here's another booth with comic books, the new mutants, Demon Bear book, that one's you know going up in price, as well as those Moon Knights. You used to get them for uh, like five bucks, but now because of the Marvel TV shows, like, they're starting to go up in value. This booth just had a whole bunch of long boxes that looked like they were sitting in a basement for years and they just they took them out for this show. And then over here in the corner you got Southern California Comics, very cool comic book store here in San Diego. It was actually the first uh, comic book store I went to when I moved here and I bought a whole bunch of my collection from them. 
So on this side of the hotel, you got some of the small press area as well as artist alley, more more like the independent artists who are you know trying to make a name for themselves. They're all set up over here. You got a producer and writer of Spider-Man. He was at the show doing a panel. And so yeah, these are all like the small artists from the area. Just putting their art out there for people to check out and buy. A lot of talented artists over here. And uh, Comic Festival is celebrating Ray Harryhausen and all the work he did for sci-fi movies. Uh, as you see here, some of the skeleton warriors on display from Clash of the Titans, so that was pretty cool. Seeing those, that was a cool uh, picture off right there. All right, YouTube, that's it for me here at the San Diego Comic Fest. It's a nice little chill convention they have at one of the hotels. This year they were celebrating 100 years of Ray Bradbury and Ray Harryhausen. I was fortunate enough to meet Ray Bradbury years ago, like over 10 years ago at uh, San Diego Comic Con. Signed one of the, my books, at The Illustrated Man. So that was awesome getting to meet him. Who, he's an OG of uh, Comic Con, one of the first ones. But uh, I did find three things there. And uh, all of these I got at the same booth, uh, Mark's Vintage Toys. I'll have a link to his Instagram, check him out. He has lots of stuff. What's cool about his booth is just like lots of, Lots of things to look at. There's just everywhere, little bins and stuff full of figures and probably uh, has quite a, uh, a good amount of, uh, from every toy line, especially from like the 80s. But uh, one of the things I got was this uh, Quasimodo hunchback from uh, the real Ghostbusters toy line. So that's cool, uh, cool to add him to my collection along with the other monsters I got. And next up is Snout Spout from uh, Masters of Universe toy line. Uh, he's missing his weapon, but that's okay. Uh, for eight bucks, is a pretty good deal on this figure. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't have him already. And the final figure I picked up from Mark's Vintage Toys was this Jim Morrison The Doors figure from uh, McFarlane Toys. These toys are freaking awesome. They're cool little uh, like statues, I guess you would call them. So this one's definitely gonna get get a, get opened up. You see right there, it looks awesome with the little display. I, have to, I didn't know they had uh, Angus Young from ACDC, and I'm going to have to look for him. I have a bunch of Metallica's Iron Maidens as well. I have those, but I got to get the Angus Young. All right, YouTube, thanks again for watching the video. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought of the San Diego Comic Fest. Uh, you know, let me know what you saw in some of those booths that you liked that you might have picked up if you were here. And again, Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram as well. I post pictures and little things I'm doing in between videos there. And, you know, uh, thanks again for watching and subscribing. Hit the like button if you like the video. Catch you guys next time. I'm SoCal Shaolin. I